Hey guys, how you doing? So, Apple put out a study a couple of days ago, and it's titled, The Illusion of Thinking, Understanding the Strengths and Limitations of Reasoning Models Via the Lens of Problem Complexity. Anyway, um, you can look it up on the web, you can find the link with the Googles. Um, what I'm going to just point out is just the highlight of this study. So what they found is that the reasoning models, uh, like GPT-03, 04, and I think Claude has one, you got these reasoning models, right? And what they found is that when they actually tested these reasoning models against test uh, problems, uh, puzzles, that they had not been trained on, they failed very quickly. They failed when the complexity level get, got to like three or four on 10, they failed like miserably. Their success rate dropped to like nearly zero, if not zero. All of the thinking models. And what Apple uh, was suggesting in their research is that what happened is that the reason the models seem to be thinking in previous tests is that they were uh, the, the scientists who are testing these models were uh, accidentally training these models on the test so the conclusion was that the models the thinking models are not actually thinking and this is something I touched on in a previous video so at the end of the day what does this mean for developers this means that uh, Unless there's some weird innovation that we don't foresee, uh, artificial general intelligence, AGI, is not really going to be happening anytime soon. And B, it's very good for jobs, right? Like, again, as the CEO of Microsoft, CEO of Google has said, and others, uh, AI is not replacing developers. It's only um, speeding up the process. That's why I've been encouraging people, learn the web stack, so that's HTML5, CSS3, then learn JavaScript. Then I would learn some Python, because Python's used often with uh, AI. And then learn how to use AI in development, to speed up your traditional development with AI. And also look at, very important, agentic agent development. Learn that, and if you are a junior dev, that's how you're gonna get the junior dev jobs, is to get into that. You wanna jump into that area that's, there's a lot of demand. All right, that's it for today. I'm Uncle Steph.